How's it going everyone? We have some kind words from the CEO I wanted to show you. From what I'm seeing so far, this is really good news for Shiba Inu today. Be sure to drop a like. Now what we saw is some kind act. So I hope someone wins who is genuine and this changes their life forever. God bless. Me too, said the CEO basically. And what exactly was this for? Well, for the giveaway that probably by the end of this video has already ended. So we're thrilled to present Shiba Certic AMA and you know, someone won i'm guessing won her a million ship you know seven people won one her million ship and each one one leash which could be one her thousand dollars if leash grows and you know ship one her million ship is also a lot of money so if this grows like this is a lot of cash that could change someone's life from what i'm seeing so far so with shiba everyone wins after all this was the dev's mission nothing more nothing less and it tells you that the ship Shiba Inu CEO is a kind person. A lot of people have been spreading FUD that, you know, Shiba Swap and Shiba Inu is a scam. But hashing out the future is Bitcoin hash rate drop an opportunity in disguise. And it's actually a great thing that, you know, the China crackdown is actually a good thing because now all the miners are relocating. Uh, Bitcoin mining sparks a reconstructing of the distribution of ecosystem. And, you know, it's going to be more decentralized than ever, which Shiba Inu is all for, impacting the hash rates in the long run. So what we're seeing, China's crackdown on Bitcoin mining cooperation have led to significant drop on the network's hash rate but industry participants believe it presents an incredible opportunity for rider e-mining ecosystem so this makes you know cryptocurrency even more decentralized and shiba inu is all about decentralization so i think this is really good news you know you know yes the price dropped short term but long term and mid term this is actually exciting news and it could make you know go bitcoin go like 200k so china has been a major contribution to the mining bitcoin space at the times accounting for more than 70 percent of the global hash rate and then they started cracking down the chinese southwester province of shuan has an abundance of hydroelectric power which is fed by asia's largest river yangtze and the advent of asset mining saw the province become home to the biggest of the mining operations in the world in the past few years due to its favorable electricity rates but that is coming to an abrupt end driven by the country's hardening stance and local media reported that 26 major bitcoin mining hubs were forced to shutter in shuan so marking a 50% drop in just over a month and now they're cracking down on all the miners overall and you know if they are not mining ethereum that's why the transactions fees are so expensive and industry analysts estimate that more than 70% of the total mining capacity in china has gone offline over the past week and that could increase to more than 90% in the coming weeks and Zhang, vice president of Foundry Services, a mining infrastructure company, provided an overview of the situation in China in a Twitter thread. The key takeaways were the operators were given minimal time to pack up shops, so they didn't have any time to actually go away and, you know, relocate, while much of their electrical infrastructure is not compatible with systems in other countries. And that's bad news. But uh, here's some good news. Now, at first, this was terrible. This crashed the price, right? For miners outside of China who focus on maximizing their Bitcoin accumulation, this incredible opportunity as the hash value, Bitcoin TH day is increasing rapidly during a time where everybody would have been expecting the opposite. So this is going to be some good things. And researchers also highlighted the fact that the security of the Bitcoin network has not been affected despite the scale of the hashing power that was taken offline in the recent weeks. So Bitcoin is always, you know, going to be transacted. There's still a lot of Bitcoin to be made. There's a lot of money in this. The effects of Chinese mining squeeze was felt across the cryptocurrency markets as Annabelle Huan, head of Global X, highlighted a recent sell-off and slump in various cryptocurrency prices. And we can see, you know, the prices have obviously fell down. But hey, I think, you know, Shiba Inu is still growing pretty strong, which I'm happy with this. And we can see that, you know, many small-scale miners using third-party hosting providers that offer better electricity rates than particularly found on our regular energy grid since then hosting capacities in high demand. It's likely not very easy for those miners to scale. And we're going to be seeing a great migration so far. So I'm just going to be keeping this article short because we have a lot more to go through but now that you're no longer facing a competitive disadvantage in the hardware procurement the stage is set for north american mining companies to become dominant players in the next few years so and we know that a lot of na miners are also ship holders so this is something i'm really excited for as you can hear in my 
voice. As she stated, China forced a shutdown of 60% of the Bitcoin network infrastructure. There were no lawsuits, no bankruptcies, no bailouts, no downtime. Network infrastructure just shrugged and relocated to different countries with increased freedoms. So this is a good thing uh, for long term. And, you know, Shiba Inu being fully decentralized over here. NA miners might be looking at Shiba Inu as well, or holding it for that matter, because it's not mineable unless you're using the unmineable app. So what we're seeing so far, Bitcoin could be also bouncing off to mid 40k range again, said one analyst. Of course, this is, you know, just speculation at the moment, but we could be seeing massive increases. Now, Bitcoin is going up and down, but there's a white cutoff model that would basically increase Bitcoin's price. It's volatile, but trending up. So like last time I talked about Bitcoin reaching 160K and that would be huge for SHIB. Long-term outlooks from a seasoned market participant showed a different world from a fraud in trade price activities. So in the future, and these are, you know, some important graphs here that I can't fully look, but the 200 WMEA is a principal line in sanded spot price have never closed crossed and continues to increase each month despite recent losses so some positive news it's trending it's very volatile it's short-term volatile but long term actually bitcoin is going up even if it's falling okay so it is going up in the long run okay just stay patient this is good news for ship because if bitcoin reaches 100k then ship can show its true potential now some might some are saying that you know it could reach down to 15k but again, if we know, you know, ship is low, I'm definitely going to be buying more because I never think Bitcoin is going to be falling down. In reality, no one actually knows how much Bitcoin will go up or down. So it could bottom up at 10,000 to 15,000. But CNBC, there wasn't enough institutional demand to support Bitcoin's all-time high of 41,000. And it could retrace down to 20,000. In early February, he gave CNN his highest price target for Bitcoin yet, 600,000 by the end of the year. He told Boomer that his firm's fundamental analysis put Bitcoin at 400,000. So he's saying Bitcoin could be hitting 400,000. And anxious to be putting money into Bitcoin right now and predicted that Bitcoin could spend the next few years trading sideways before the market turns bullish again. So um, I think this could be possible. 400,000 is going to take some time. He, I don't think he gave us the exact estimate. But if Bitcoin reaches 400,000, imagine how much Shiba Inu would reach. That would be just crazy. But crypto has proven to be Tulip Monia, a reference to the Dutch toilet bull market bubble in the uh, 16th century when the market crashed after the periods of speculation. So crazy. To be able to invest almost 500 million Bitcoin through the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. So there's still, you know, institutions investing, but a lot of them are not picking up. Now, if Bitcoin falls, that don't be afraid because SHIB is obviously staying around over here. Aussies are spending, you know, their money on digital coins. And I think that's very important to note here. There could be over 500,000 Australians that have instigated at least 5,000 to 10,000 cryptocurrency. And a lot of them haven't invested into SHIP from what I'm seeing so far. So shout out to our Australians because they have seriously boosted the market. They found that 79% want to see cryptocurrencies more heavily regulated, but that's fine. Then they would buy more of it. And I am really excited for this one. We can see you know, some research told us that Australians are going in on crypto as well, which is good news. And we are seeing, you know, women holding crypto from 7% to 11%. Gen Z holding from, you know, a 33, it's decreased from 33% to 24% uh, for millennials. And the charge are both Gen Z and women. So we can see big growth for everyone. Now, around 9% of Australians own Bitcoin, followed by Ethereum with 8% of people holding it. Now, probably SHIB is like 2%, but this tells you that there's a lot of people still holding. Now, imagine if we got like 50% of people holding SHIB. Wouldn't that be crazy? For 43%, they believe it's too volatile or risky. It definitely is volatile, but with big risk you get big gains, okay? So sh there's no more FUD anymore for Shiba Inu and in long term, this will increase the price because there's nothing to FUD about and we can see, you know, big marketing coming up. We can see that as Shiba Swap is releasing, 
uh, we're going to be seeing more updates in the future. There's uh, going to be only more greener and greener markets. We don't know if there will be a bigger crash or not, but I think this pretty clearly tells you that there's still a lot of work to put into. The other thing is like Shiba Inu NFTs will actually change everything. Shiba Inu NFTs is something I have to get into my next video. So be sure to drop a like and thank you so much for watching. Peace, everyone.